In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Paul said to the people, I am a Jew and was born at Tarsus in Cilicia. I was brought up here in this city. I studied under Gamaliel and was taught the exact observance of the law of our ancestors. In fact, I was as full of duty towards God as you are today. I even persecuted this way to the death and sent women as well as men to prison in chains, as the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify, since they even sent me with letters to their brothers in Damascus. When I set off, it was with the intention of bringing prisoners back from there to Jerusalem for punishment. I was on that journey and nearly at Damascus when about midday a bright light from heaven suddenly shone round me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus the Nazarene, and you are persecuting me. The people with me saw the light, but did not hear his voice as he spoke to me. I said, What am I to do, Lord? The Lord answered, Stand up and go into Damascus, and there you will be told what you have been appointed to do. The light had been so dazzling that I was blind, and my companions had to take me by the hand, and so I came to Damascus. Someone called Ananias, a devout follower of the law and highly thought of by all the Jews living there, came to see me. He stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, receive your sight. Instantly my sight came back and I was able to see him. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will, to see the just one and hear his own voice speaking, because you are to be his witness before all mankind, testifying to what you have seen and heard. And now, why delay? It is time you were baptized and had your sins washed away while invoking his name. The Word of the Lord Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. O praise the Lord, all you nations, acclaim him, all you peoples. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Strong is his love for us, he is faithful forever. Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia! I chose you from the world to go out and bear fruit, fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus showed himself to the eleven and said to them, Go out to the whole world, proclaim the good news to all creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name they will cast out devils, they will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands, 
and be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Paul, the Apostle of Grace. Grace flowing from God's unconditional and limitless love is the central theme in the whole Bible. Grace is the divine undeserved generosity which is everywhere available, completely given and often even undesired. How does Paul's story mean to you and me? The drama of the entrance to Damascus is all about grace of God that directs him to conversion. For Paul, conversion was immediately and historically crucial. He was baptized and preached in the synagogue at Damascus and acknowledged and proclaimed Jesus as the Son of God. The grace of God makes him realize and choose eternal life rather than death. Love transcends, for he has chosen to follow Christ the way. Today, Paul's conversion reminds us that the greatest gift that God offers us is his love. The Spirit of Christ will always be with us upholding our own weakness and triumphing over our inclination to evil. Paul shows us that nothing is impossible for us to proclaim God's love to the people around us because God loves us first and His grace brings us to the way of eternal life. Ultimately, our conversion has to do with relationship. The relationship with Jesus, the Christ, the object of our Christian faith. That relationship manifests in our prayers, our daily action and words. St. Paul wrote, It is by grace that you are saved, through faith, not by anything of your own but by a pure gift from God and not by anything you have achieved. Nobody can claim the credit. You are God's work of art. With confidence, we offer up all our petitions and prayers to God in the word Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed Apostle Paul burnt ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <music>